It's back to school tomorrow in Gauteng, but over a thousand children might miss out as they've not yet been placed. The provincial education department is appealing for patients, saying that all pupils will be placed. The department listed Ekuruleni North, Tswane East and Joburg West as high-pressure areas. Let's get a sense of where things stand at this hour. I'm joined by Matome Chilowane, Gauteng Education MEC. MEC, thank you very much for your time. I'm sure your department must be incredibly busy trying to place these learners. Can you tell us, as a start, how many Grade 1 learners have not yet been placed? Thank you. Good evening to you and good evening to your viewers. Um, let me quickly, um, we are sitting at 1,300 uh, for the whole, both grade one and grade eight. Uh, majority of them are grade eight. Uh, if, you are, if, you, if you know that there's a ratio of three to one uh, that exists currently, uh, three primary schools to one. So as for grade ones, we are looking at 236 that are left to be placed, and uh, grade eight who are left with 1,158. Right, okay. Um, are the constraints with placing these learners purely around capacity at schools? It's mainly infrastructure, yeah. Um, uh, we don't have uh, enough schools. Uh, uh, to to manage the the growth of the province, the population growth of the province. As you know, there's a lot of immigration into Gauteng. Uh, uh, and that's a general world uh, a problem. There's immigration to urban centers, so there's one. Is how, so that's what we have. It's an infrastructure problem, a uh, backlog that we have. But in terms of capacity uh, to provide quality education, no, we don't have uh, that particular challenge. Hmm. This is also not a new problem. Each year there are a certain number of pupils uh, who need to be placed still by the time that the schools start. Um, can you tell us how the numbers compare with previous years? Uh, there's been a significant increase of about... Uh, the last time we, we checked, we're sitting at about 14,000 uh, increase in this year. But remember, we have not even taken into account the late application. So we're waiting for the late applications to come so that we can have a comprehensive number overall uh, in terms of uh, uh, how, how, how much have increased or how, how, how have gone a bit down. But uh, as things stand, uh, this is not the worst period. We have had a much more difficult period as a department. Uh, but now, for now, at least we are better pre prepared. That's why we want to assure the parents that the learners that currently have not been placed, they will be placed. Uh, they just need to be a, give us a, be a little bit patient. We know that patience is not endless. Uh, by the 30th of January, schooling will be moving swiftly. All learners will be placed in schools. Right, so 30th of Jan, that's uh, about two weeks away. Surely you must understand how difficult it is for a learner, whether it's grade one or grade eight, to be placed in a school a week or even two weeks after all their peers. Suddenly they're isolated. They're the only learner perhaps in that school who has yet to make friends. They're unfamiliar. The environment is new. While everyone else has already had the advantage of settling in. Yeah, you know, we are aware. We really, we really, we are aware. Actually, we know that this is a very, very difficult to us to actually say it. Uh, <clears throat> but however, we are alive to the reality that uh, we, the, our schools had reached capacity. So what we are doing, we are rolling out um, uh, mobiles, and those mobiles will enable us to, to put more learners. We will roll out a self-built program. For instance, a school that I'd gone to today. Uh, they are building seven classes, which they will open by, they will be concluded by mid-Feb. Uh, so that will also give them more capacity to take in learners. Uh, however, we have requested schools that in the interim, they should take learners in uh, and until these mobiles arrive and they're concluded and also these uh, build classes. So we're, we're pushing very hard, we're working around the clock. But however, we also, that we've got many, we've also engaged um, uh, there are church, churches that have been opened for us so that we can put in learners there in those churches. We will provide educators there. 
uh, in the interim while we are also dealing with the infrastructure in the school so that learning can continue in the interim for, for our, our children. Looking at the bigger picture and moving slightly away from placements in schools, uh, we know that it's very important uh, that when we look at these challenges of pressures in certain areas, there are historic reasons leading to those pressures, insufficient uh, school infrastructure built in certain communities. And as those communities grow, that pressure grows as well. Where are we in the Gauteng province with equitable access for learners to quality schools right across the province and providing previously disadvantaged communities uh, with increased access? We, the backlog is, 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 is it's, it's a bit dire. Uh, the picture is, doesn't look good. Uh, for instance, uh, the previous year we had over 120,000 in migration uh, into our province. And if we take into account 1,000 learners per school, it, it meant that we had to have 1,000, 100 schools built you know, just to deal with the immigration, not talking about the current uh, 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 learner population we have. So the pitch, we, 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 the backlog is high. Uh, the backlog is high. We have plans in place as government to build schools at a quicker pace uh, because we realize that this is it's a, it's a major, a major problem. Education has been, is, a, is an apex priority in our province, in our government. So we have plans in place to build schools at a very rapid pace. Uh, at some point, we want to see our province being yellow, with yellow plants building schools uh, in, in the near future to ensure that we deal with this because there's no time anymore. As a point of interest, has the department been tracking where this incredible influx of pupils is coming from across the rest of the country? Yes, uh, we were mainly provinces, uh, our neighboring provinces, <coughs> our neighbor, our immediate neighboring provinces. We do have a large number also coming from uh, the Eastern Cape, and we also have uh, uh, Eastern Cape. So our neighboring provinces are the major contributors. Let me just put it that way, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of this uh, in migration, and that's because most most probably their parents. The parents uh, are working in Gauteng, and ideally they would want their children to be closer by. Mm. So uh, that's, that's one of the major contribution, uh, contributory factor. Okay, fact just to, uh, moving to, back to, to the placement impact. issue. Sorry, um, can, can you give mm. parents just an idea when they can expect an update by, we know you said by the 30th of Jan, all these uh, 1,300 pupils will be placed. Will you be giving an update uh, in between or before that period? We are placing every day. Uh, the figure, the figure tomorrow morning would have changed, uh, based on what we would have done today, and 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 that's how we have said the 30th of January. But however, we know that it can be quicker. It can be by the end of the week. Uh, it can be uh, latest midweek. So we we are placing every day. We're really working around the clock to ensure that. Kids don't miss learning and teaching. It's important for our learners to be in school. Mm -hmm. So we are placing. Uh, what, what I can tell parents is that any moment you will receive communication from the school that your child is placed here, uh, an offer for placement. And, and, and please, uh, we're appealing to parents to really reconsider um, these offers that we, have, we are giving to you. Uh, we know that some parents, some parents have been offered spaces, but they've decided against it. Uh, they've decided not to accept the places and they want the preferred schools. Uh, hence, we have this high number of appeals. But we are appealing, please, parents, take the offers in place. Unless, uh, if there are extreme circumstances that demonstrate to us that why this placement is difficult for the parent, especially the learner, we then, that's another case. It's a case on its own. But some parents uh, will prefer school that is a kilometer away from where we would have placed their, their child. And I'm not saying to those parents, take this place. Mm. All schools in Gauteng are good. We provide very good, high quality education. One of our best schools in Gauteng is in a township called Deep Sloot. Uh, others are in Soshangube, others are in Kajo. Best, best, best schools in the country. In fact, to say uh, uh, Gauteng is an understatement in the country. Mm -hmm. Trust us to provide quality education wherever your child will be within our province.
Just as a last quick question before I let you go, we know we've had um, some severe weather in the province over the last while and during the school holidays, as always, there is sometimes vandalism of schools. Uh, can you just tell us quickly about school readiness across the province to open their doors to learners tomorrow? Are there any specific incidents that you know of? Uh, there's been, uh, during the holidays, uh, there's 24 schools that were vandalized. Uh, and when when bundled at the same time, some would have robbed them. So, but those incidences are not enough to stop us. So, those schools will be open tomorrow. They'll be functioning normally. We have set up, they've put measures in place to ensure that they are able to start and replace all those uh, uh, stolen items. However, we are further appealing to our communities to really work with us. We can't continue. You know, it's a waste to their own tax pay, taxes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we fix the school, we give the infrastructure, we set up everything. Some criminal decides to come and take everything in the community. These people live within our communities. So we are urging them, become our whistleblowers. If you know anyone who's taking a chair, a desk, whatever, go to the nearest police station, go to the school, uh, you know, go, go speak to some leadership or the district. You know, we are here. You know, so that we really, really stop this vandalism. It's really taking us backward. Well, thank you very much for your time this evening and good luck with those last 1,000 placements. That was Matoma Chilowane, Gauteng Education MEC, speaking to us uh, on the eve of the start of schools in Gauteng.